Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to use MCPE Mod Locator on Android to get your favorite mods, textures, skins, servers, all that fun stuff on Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.x, 0.9.5, and in some point, whenever 0.11.0 comes out, the same method will work. So, being the developer of MCPE Mod Locator, it's important to me to make sure that everybody knows how to use the app and can get around it just fine. The other day I was searching MCPE Mod Locator up on YouTube and one of the uh, pop-ups that came up was how to use MCPE Mod Locator. That means a lot of people have been searching that recently so I'm like, well crap, I need to make a video to you know, help people understand exactly how it works and how to use it. So I already know a lot of my subscribers know how to use this app and stuff like that but this is more for people who have the app who haven't actually seen my YouTube channel and they need a little extra help with it. And that's why I added the new help section in MCP Mod Locator so you can get access to this kind of stuff in this video and future stuff that'll help you actually use the app. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I do want to say, I know it sucks, but you have to use either Block Launcher Pro or Block Launcher Free. Yes, I know Block Launcher is notorious for crashing. It's you know not a very good app in general but it's the only one on the Play Store or anywhere that's like that and that actually is updated to 0.10.x so yeah it sucks I know but that's what you have to use I'm working on something that could actually replace it but currently as of this video Block Launcher is the only thing we can use so anyways after you have Block Launcher installed let's go up to mods go to 0.10.x you can go with 0.9.5 if you want Let's go with, um, let's go with a new one. Let's go with uh, Night Vision. Hit install. You can see this pops up right away. If you have Block Launcher free, it'll go with a pre free version. If you, if you have both of them installed, it'll ask you which one you want to use. So hit import in the bottom left. Let's open up Block Launcher now. Hit the wrench up top. Hit manage mod PE scripts. In the top right corner, that little switch that says off, change that to on. Hit, on, hit the mod you want to use. Hit enable. And now it's ready to go. Let's load up a world here. And it should, in the chat, tell you that it's enabled. I think it's only with when you're. There we go. There's another block launcher crash, of course. Return to normal. Goodness. All right. So let's start actually in new world here. Because that I think that's what makes a pop up. There it is. Night vision beta created by that guy. And you can use night vision on or off to enable or disable it. So there you go. And let's see if it crashes again. Nope. Okay. Anyways, going back to MCPE mod locator, let's go look at texture packs. So you can see you have this texture slash skins button. Let's go with 0.10.x textures. And let's go with uh, water shaders. Hit download. And it'll pop up with Block Launcher or whatever version you have. This one will actually select it because it already goes with Pro automatically. But if you have free installed, it goes with it, but it doesn't ask you. So it says, do you want to use this texture pack or set this texture pack? Hit import. Now it is set. Let's open up Block Launcher. And just to make sure, click the wrench again. Hit Launcher Options. You can see texture pack is set to on. And when I selected it and opened it, you can see for that brief second, it did say watershaders.zip. So let's go ahead and go to a creative world so we can fly around and find some water. Oh, there it is. And you can see water shaders is working. It's kind of a weird texture pack, but uh, it, do, it does work. You can see it has that little water shaders look to it. So there you go. That's how you use texture packs. Now let's go ahead and check out skins. Skins was a big update or a cool feature I added in the big update 2.0 along with the UI change. but. This is another one a lot of people asked for, and you can see there are quite a few skins that you can use now. So I know Christmas is over by just a few days, but let's go ahead and use a Santa skin. There we go. Hit import. Open up Block Launcher. Hit the wrench, because we do want to make sure, again, that skins are enabled. It says enable skin override. Let's click it. You can see for a brief second there it did say Santa.png. So we are going to go and go back to that world. Go to options, third person view on. You can see I am now Santa Claus. I like that skin. That is pretty cool. Jingle bells, jingle bells. All right. Now let's go back and check out, I think it's maps. This is the one a lot of people have issues with. I know that 
uh, with it's all hosted all these maps and stuff are hosted on either Dropbox or Google Drive I need to find a better place to upload this stuff I'll probably have to pay for some service or something like that but uh, Google Drive and is okay Dropbox is garbage I know a lot of people go with Dropbox but it does have a lot of issues with my app and stuff like that so it is kind of a problem so let's give one a shot here let's try the Christmas coaster hit download it says process complete this map has been added to your game this is where you don't need block launcher if you just wrote, open up regular minecraft it should work and there you can see Christmas map and let's run around here it's a Christmas coaster cool stuff Oop, almost got hit there's Santa Claus no there no what is that it's black Santa <laughs> <laughs> There's just some random black Santa here. Look at him. Well, that's interesting. Okay, then. Black Santa. And a Christmas coaster. Then we can just look at seeds really quick here. Just kind of give you a thing here. It tells you about it and tells you what the seed is. Seed, Wumbo. Not going to really go over that one. Uh, you can do an install of map here, and if you have... A, uh, a shader, not shaders, I, was, I just saw that one there. If you have a map in your d uh, downloads directory, you'll find it here. If it's stored somewhere else, you can see in the top left it says up, and you can select where it's at. And if you click on a zip file that's a map, it'll actually install it for you. Cool stuff. Let's go to servers. This page I do know is kind of bleh because right now what it's doing is it's testing all the servers to see if they're up or not. So it's going to take it some time. The way I want to do it in the future, I'm working on this part, is it will, uh, when you open the page, it will just say like pinging server or something like that. And then when it actually gets a connection with it, it'll either say server online or if it doesn't work, it'll say server offline while you're looking at the page. So let's go with uh, Lifeboat Survival Games. Hit add to MCPE. Hit Minecraft. This one, again, you don't need block launcher for. And you can see Lifeboat Survival Games are right there. Let's see if it's up. Let's see if it's working. There we go. A lot of people in there. And also you can do this. It says add custom IP at the top. So you can put in the name of the server. So I'm just going to put in Dogger2011. IP address. Um... Blah, 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 blah. Oops. 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 Blah, blah. Nope. Putting too much time in. Dang it. I'm not just a terrible typer today. Port. Let's just put in the default port. Add server. And when you look under there, there it is. Now that's not an actual server. If it was, that'd be pretty funny, but it's not an actual server. But, you know, if it was, that would that's how you would do that. So that's how you use MCP Mod Locator. If you have any questions, just leave some comments down below. I'll do my best to reply to them. And I hope you guys all enjoy this video. If you're coming from my app and, you know, you haven't actually seen my YouTube channel before, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you use my app and really like it, I'd hope that you leave a five-star review for it. It really helps me out. And it's kind of encourage. It's really encouraging to see when people leave those five star reviews. So I hope you all enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.